Well guys, this is a boring Friday afternoon in Bogota. I came to run some errands. I got a coffee already with a couple of friends, but I have nothing to do, so I came to work next. The office we, you know, do, the production office we do the birder show with, to see if anyone had time for a coffee or going to the movies or whatever. You know, there's Barbie movie these days. Let's see if anyone is interested. Let's go. Buenas. Hi guys! Hi Diego! Hi Diego! Hi Diego! Look at it! You are working? Yeah, we're actually doing uh, the Birder Show chapter of E-Fly, Champions of the Flyway. So we're oh, oh, going there. Can't, can't wait to see it, but come on man, I'm, I'm, I'm bored. Let's go for coffee or do something. Can we watch um, Barbie? Uh, uh, no, America. Let's go. There are pink Barbie birds. You like birds. There are pink Barbie birds that are gonna blow your mind. Your mind. <laughs> Let me show you! Okay, 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 let's find them all, Peter. We decided to show you our what? Our top pink birds. Pink, Barbie, flashy, you're, so, gonna, you're gonna learn with us. So let's jump in, Diego, which is your first pink bird? And this one is? You know that. I know this one, it's the Rosiate Spoonbill, and I actually filmed this one in the Janos of Colombia, in the Flatlands. Chunky, cool, easy yeah. to film. Easy to film. For beginners like you. Yeah. You know. <laughs> it's funny, you know, a lot of pink birds have rose in the name, rosier yeah. in, this, in this case. And the spoonbill, I mean, weird filtering, feeding birds with a, look at that, flat, spoonish bill. It's an American bird, South, Central and North America. Nice. And our species in the new world is pink. 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 And that, look at it. Yeah, it's definitely pink. That's a, that, that, that's a beautiful, soft, you know, degrade palette of pinks to whites. It's a beautiful bird. This bird is really easy to photograph and to film as well because they're not as shy as some other birds. Chunky, they show showing. They show off a lot. Spoonbills are entertaining. Yeah. I mean, and they're pink. So, you know, they're in our list. That's cool. How about... Oh, that's an intense color. I was gonna say a little more than pinky. Check oh, the name. Yeah. Seems like a lark for me. Look at that. Oh, que locura. This is... It's, this. It's, it's not a lark. It's in its own family. No way. So and it's neotropical. It, it doesn't live in the old world. It lives here. Ah, the rosy tanager. The rosy ah, tanager. Okay, okay. Yeah. Nice. It's not thrush. It's a tanager. And why so do we call it thrush tanager? Because it resembles a thrush because of the size and the chunkiness. So it's like the, you know, thrushy looking tanager. And it's in its own family. And we, of course, in the pink Barbie birds, we only could uh, put the male because it's the picky one. Female is mustardy, very yellow. They are hard to see, skulky and boisy. Look at this, look at this animal. That's a perch in Costa Rica, where you can just go out. Even an amateur like you can show on film. It's easy. Even a, uh, an amateur guy like you can, can, can show it to a client. <laughs> easy. We like this bird. Okay, greater flamingo. Nice. This is not the Colombian one, right? There you are. You've seen the, you know, the American flamingos. These greaters are from the old world. One of the cool things is, look at that, they look white, but you know, wings, face, legs, they're pink. So I, I, I would say this is one of the ultimate Barbie water birds. Nice. They don't look pink, but they're pink. And, and they're pink. like kind of dancing all around and displaying their wings. Synchronized, synchronized, synchronized dancing. Sometimes they do that when they're predators. So they get a little wary, they're all dancing the same before flying. Pink. And they're also easy to photograph or to make some videos. I mean, and they're pretty approachable, we, which I like. We've, we've done it in the bird, yeah, the murder yeah. show, th th thousands of times, flamingos are cool. Yeah, they're cool, they're my type, my type of pink. What would you say this thing is if you're birding in the Colombian mountains? This resembles, you remember the chapter of Caldas when we had to film this ultramarine the bird? Yeah, 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 the bird is showing Caldas with that. This will be like the ultra pinkish, more pinkish of the pink uh, gross pink too, like... You're, you're, you're right in a couple of things. One is that it's a, you know, seeds eating bird. It has a gross big finch bill and this thing is called rose finch so you just said it, the superlative of the finches it's pink and it's rose finch this is a bird that lives in the himalayas and males are absolutely different to females they wouldn't you know be categorized as barbie birds or brownie okay boring and of course 
I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen it, and I would love somebody of the audience can tell us and can write down if they have seen this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And put if it, it's been put easy. It, put it in the comments, please. Ah, oh, no way. That's a pija, man. See? Wow. Is it a pija? Yeah. Is it a pija? Oh, <laughs> that, that, this is a. Wow. Okay, no, don't, don't read the name. It's a pija. I filmed it in the Amazon while screaming. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Check it out. Pink, Look at that pink, ass. Pink and pink. That's not the pija, you know. Rose <laughs> color pija, man. This is a great one. I know. It's a Tepui endemic. It lives in the Tepui. It's like Brazil, Guyana, Venezuela. Look at look, oh. that video. I made it. Did you <laughs> record him doing the vocalization as well? Yeah, actually. And it's a hard, hard. Look at that. It's a hard bird. We work hard to see this one. Look at this. Look at. I mean, hard, super endemic. The Pui bird only living in the lost world. Yeah. And how about the. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> hey. Okay, man, this might not be very pinky. It's so. pink, has pink legs. Yeah, it's pink legged uh, bird. Because I have never seen this one in my life before. Pink leg gravitato. A scientific name that is Acrobatornis. It's an acrobat, it's a juggler. It's just, you know, making crazy nests in the canopy of Brazil. It's a Brazilian endemic and, you know, look at that. It's super pink legs, you can't see anything there. How about the nests? I mean, they seem like they're really small and oh, they're really high. They're, they're, they're tiny and, you know, the nest is super high. Really, really, you know, messy, crazy sticks nest. I don't know, 15 meters way up in the canopy. Even building. harder to film, harder to take photos. But it's one of the ultimate Brazilian endemics. It's in its own genus, Acrobatornis. I mean, if you're called the bird, the acrobat bird, you, you're gonna be fun. Let's see this. Whoa, I maybe have seen this one like on Instagram post. You might, but this is one of the two photos of this thing in the wild. I mean, it's a hard bird. And the cool thing is called pink tail. It's in its own family. It's only one bird that is this, you know, Przewalski's pink tail. It's unique. Where does this uh, guy lives? I have no idea, man. If I took some notes and this thing lives somewhere. Somewhere in the old world. <laughs> but I didn't do my homework. It's, it's a pink tail bird. Yeah. And Next. Oh, nice, nice combination of pink, gray, and black. Oh, look at this. When it's flying, it shows a lot of pink. But one of the cool things of this bird it's like a great bird. I mean, it's not pink. It only shows pink when they fly. I would say a special mention. It's an amazing bird. It's the wall creeper. Oh, dude, like that. Just wall like, creeper, uh, like the climber. climber like you, birds. Man. Yeah. Like everyone else in this office, you know. Is there a special reason why he's using that color? The, 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 the pinky? pinky? Man. I thought you were an expert. I'm sorry. I'm not really, it's just evolution happening, man. You know, you happen to be like that. And of how course, you will like? have a paper on sexual selection for sure, you know. Ladies right. like the redness, the pinkiness of the look at that mate. Look, look at those wings. Coolest thing is the habitat. Look at that, look at the rocks. Yeah. How hard is it to see this bird out? Where does it live? I mean, you have to go to specific rocky outcrops. This is, you know, like an old world European bird, Asia, Europe. I mean, I don't, I don't know actually if Asia, I might be screwing up, but. It's why it's Europe. Place. Europe. I've never seen it. It's a hard bird. It's a hard bird. I mean, you have to go to the rocks. You have to get to rocky outcrops to, to see it. Very special, specific areas. Look at that. A special mention, and he deserves to be in the list. Jump on to. I don't know. I don't know. It's not, it's not pink to no. start with. I mean, it's the, the, the amount of pink depends on the amount of. Blue that you know when the bird, when the like, bird moves allows the like pink. a shy pink but still shows up. It's a it's a blue pink wannabe bird. Yeah, what is the name of this one? It's a bunting, it's a seed eater, basically it's a finch. And it's called Rose Belly. And it was named Rosita's Bunting for a while because someone, not because of the rose color. But you know, look at that. It depends on the on the amount of motion that the blue covers the Pink. So resembles a little bit of a hummingbird, right? Like the eighty essence will change. But yeah, but it's just like layers, oh. layers of blue covering or not covering. This is this is actually my photo. Yeah. Watch this one. This, this, this one. This one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the crappy one is mine. I mean, I have to put at least one of my photos or videos on this. Yeah. On this, on this, you know, challenge. Yeah, I mean, I'm so glad you're not the you're only the guy. <laughs> yeah. No. No. no I, yeah. So 
This is a Barbie pink bird, Central America. That's not super pinky all the time. That's an amazing bird. Definitely classifies. And what do we have here in the menu? Look oh, uh, that. Not knowing the name, how will you call this beast? I will call this beast the pink-headed, amazing, magnificent dove. It's a magnificent dove, but it's called pink-headed fruit. Oh, it's a pink-headed, oh man, this is great. Fruit doves are from the old world. Our, our doves don't, are not called fruit doves, even so all those, you know, willy fruit. And this thing is badly look for bird watchers. I mean, it's hard to get, it lives in islands. Java, Bali, like, you know, Sumatra. Yeah. I will kill to go and see this thing or two. And then how about the pinks? I mean, males and females are almost all the same. This this could be a female, but no, I mean, it's dark and all, but males are super dark pink, like, you know, my Barbie pink. Females are just a little bigger, like you. I'm more my pink. Yeah, we could be we could be a couple of fruit dogs. Fruit fruit you want to be my couple of <laughs> Maybe not today. Fruit dog? Okay, not today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Pink headed fruit top, done. Next in the list is. Whoa. Ooh, it looks like a meal or it's like a white. See, thing. yeah. Well, look at that. Like a titan or something. Pink robin. Pink robin, that's a great one. Robin is the name for thrush. It's like a great thrush. This thing is not a thrush. Oh. It's, a, it's an all world family. Males are super different than females. It is a little resembling like a doll, you know, like has like little cute eyes, little small beak. Are they not really like showing off too much? Maybe for predators, oh, you yeah. have to be like super colorful. Yeah, they, they are to our eyes, but remember that birds do, uh, do have a fourth cone, a fourth sensor, and they do watch the ultraviolet uh, spectra. So if we run a filter of ultraviolet, this might be not as, you know, showy. It might be a little boring actually. Okay, next one in the show is... Ooh, this is the Gala. Gala. These guys are common in Australia, man. You know, pink parrots, pink cockatoos called gala. They're Australian. And as you can see, they're in the park. You can just go around yeah. the corner, you know, the, the, the park in the corner, and you're gonna see galas. Galas are very, very friendly with people. You see them like grazing in parks. Australian bird. And one of the cool things, males and females, they look alike. Wash. How easy is to find this bird? I mean, I can see yeah, it yeah. on the floor, chilling around. Anywhere, chilling around, you know, chewing on grass. This is actually a really good bird, like to photo, to, to make some photography and to get a little bit closer. Oh, I can see. Yeah, you, yeah. you can approach it really know, easy. Look at the look at the degradé of different yeah. things, you know, from your whitey pink to my bright sure, pink, bright pink, pink to the gray. The keyboard's pink. <laughs> and this one is. What is it? What is it? What is it? Five, four, it is like a two, finch, wah. finch type. Of look at the bill, look at the bill. It's more. Okay, okay, it's more, more skulky, kind of warbler warbler. There you are, there you are. Nice. And this is cool because most of warblers, and you've seen a lot and you film a lot, are yellow. This thing is red with pink head. What's that? Oh, okay, so it's the pink headed warbler. There you are. Central American endemic. Have you seen it already? Same thing with Guatemala, and I think Mexico too. And you know, they are easy to locate, but not easy to see that well. Yeah, and actually, these birds are really skulky, yeah. really super, super sharp. I mean, we can see in the video the bird is like super intense moving all the way around and he's just jumping. And, and it's just exposed there for a second. They are yeah. super skulky, they don't stop like that, thanks to, you know, all the beautiful people that allowed us to use their material, amazing footage, amazing photos of all these pink warbler, pink Barbie birds. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much. Yeah. I love it. Oh, which is this one, Diego? Anna's hummingbird. Oh Crazy. man, I've never seen this one. You don't see it here in the mountains, it's okay. a North American species. And these guys migrate, right? Yeah, they do crazy migration for a tiny little bird. And you're seeing a male that has the crazy pink flashy plumes. How easy are these birds to spot? I mean, it's a tiny hummingbird, but they go to feeders, they go to people's gardens, and you know, these images, this footage is from yeah. someone's garden. This is a good video, this is a really good video. This, 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 there's plenty of... Look hummers. how that changes from nothing to pink. And then again, structural colors. They could be the most non-Barbie dark. And then, you know, when the sunlight has the right angle and your eyes have the yeah. right angle, you see the pink thing. That is a really good challenge for a photographer, right? Like, yeah. to try to grab the right, pinkness. The right, perfect moment. You've suffered with these guys. I've suffered a lot with these yeah. guys, yeah. yeah. yeah.
I'm sure Julian enjoyed today. I, I definitely enjoyed it. Thank you very much, Diego, for taking me out of my work and actually to be the delay. really important to delay. Delay. champions of the flyway. That's great. Yeah, and but actually, it was really great. You learn something, and you know, if you guys have more ideas about pink Barbie birds, put it in the comments. We would love to hear you. Yeah, thank you very much, and see you in the next one. Pink. Don't change. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Hello.